Hey everyone, this is Xset from PlayStationCollecting.com or Extinct Head as you may know me on uh, NES Collectors Fora. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the PAL exclusive games for the NES. Um, the, the European library of, for the NES is uh, small compared to the NTSC library. There are a lot of games that never got to Europe, but we also got some games that never got to America. So there's 21 games here. I don't have every PAL exclusive game, I have uh, most of them. There's about 10-15 missing, but um, uh, so let's start at the top. So first one, Trolls in Crazy Land. I have uh, protective cases over my NES games to prevent them from rubbing on each other. Um, these are all Paul B, except for one. Uh, there's a difference between between Paul B and Paul A. Uh, making it easy, it is Paul A is Italy. Uh, the United Kingdom and Australia. Every other country in Europe had Paul B. So, this is Trolls in Crazy Land. Um, this is a German release, as you can see. German text at the back. Still in great condition. Uh, definitely a hard to find game. This is probably top 10, top 20 of hard to find games on the European NES. Then, Hammering Harry. By the way, all of these games are single releases that never got any version in uh, in NTC format so not renamed games like Pro Protector which was the original Contra uh, no which is originally Contra uh, Dragon Ball which is Dragon Power etc so these are all unique games that never got to America so Hammering Harry Paul B again uh, this one is French on the back um, I think it has more releases than just the French one but this one is uh, the one I found also very hard to find game. Then Rodland, if you're an NES collector this one will ring a bell. This is one of the most famous uh, Paul only games. It's probably top 5 in rarity. There are some more rare Paul games but those aren't Paul exclusive. This one is. It's actually a really cool game. It reminds me of Bubble and Bobble. It's a little cool arcade game. Uh, this is the ESP version which is the Spanish version. The other version of Rodland out there is the ITA, so the Italian version, but that's Paul A and I'm a Paul B collector. So this is the Paul B version. You can see the little B. No, you can't see it. So Rodland. Then Super Turrican. Again a Spanish version I think no actually this is a French Dutch version so that's the FRA code version then Euphoria also a famous game not super rare definitely not easy to find though it's a cool little platformer and this is the German version then on the left we have Parodius infamous shoot em up in cartoony playful style there's a lot of different versions of Parodius out there, but for the NES this is the only one. This also got released on the Super Nintendo. And it's uh, uncommon, not, not hard to find at all. Over Horizon. This is a really cool shoot 'em up R-Type style game, R-Type Gradius. Uh, Le Chevalier du Zodaïque. So this is a French exclusive game. And um, as far as I know, this is based on a Bandai series that was uh, on TV in France. And that's pretty much the only country where it was popular. So that's why it only got released there. The subtitle of the game is La Légende d'Or, so The Legend of Gold. As you can see, the back of the box is French and English, actually. But the game is in French. Then Mario Bros, the classics version. And this is the original arcade Mario Brothers. As you can see on the back. This is the one with the power block in the middle. I don't know why this didn't get a USA release, but it sure didn't. Then there are a couple of Disney games that didn't get a American release. Lion King is one of them. It did get released on the Super Nintendo in America. It didn't get released on the NES. Same goes for Aladdin. And there's one more which I'll talk to you about later. This is the new Ghostbusters 2. And this is not the same as Ghostbusters 2. And this part of the Ghostbusters series only got released in Europe. Then Elite. This is a really... Um, how do you say? You really need to dig deep into this game to find out how it works because it's really complex. It's a space, uh, a space simulator. Comes with a lot of extras. Then Asterix. Again, a series which were only popular in, uh, in uh, Europe, especially in Netherlands, France, Belgium. 
uh, came with a cool poster which gave you entrance to the Asterix uh, theme park as you can see there on the top then uh, Paul A exclusive as you can see here in the bottom this is Paul A so only got released Australia Italy and uh, United Kingdom and you can guess where this one came from as it's called Aussie Rules Footy so this is Australian football Aladdin same story as uh, Lion King only got released in Europe did get a Super Nintendo version in America then Banana Prince this is a cool little platformer that only got released in a German version so and actually the text in the game is German as well but it's a fun little platformer and um, yeah you don't see it often expect to pay around 100 euros for that one the Smurfs or the Strumpf uh, this, the Italian version of this one uh, Il Putti or Il Puffi it's called is really really hard to find this is the normal French version which is uncommon but definitely not super hard to find then Parasol Stars Rainbow Islands 2 Bubble Bubble 3 uh, yeah this didn't get a USA release have no clue why cool little arcade game then Prince Valiant uh, pretty much same story as Asterix um, popular series in Europe probably unknown in America so that's why it didn't get a release Rackets and Rivals by Konami and Konami actually has a couple of games that they didn't release in the United States this is one of them and uh, in a bit I'll give you a list of the games I'm missing but that are also Paul exclusive and there are quite a few Konami titles in there so the last one I have is Road Fighter it's uh, a driving game nothing really special so the games I am missing that are Paul exclusive um, there is a Mario Bros Tetris World Cup the 3 in 1 cartridge that comes with a box and that box is really special it's really really rare there's two versions out there it's the Tetris box with a sticker and there's the 3 in 1 box which is actually specially designed for the game and that that one is definitely really really hard to find um, I've seen one sell for about 600 euros Another Disney game that didn't get a Paul uh, didn't get an NTC release is Beauty and the Beast. Then there's Noah's Ark, Championship Rally, Devil World, which is a small box uh, black box game. Um, also really hard to find, and it's one of the first games made by um, by um, made by uh, Miyamoto. Then there's International Cricket, again Australian game. Mr. Gimmick, also a very famous game, uh, definitely one of the top five hard to find and expensive Paul games. Only got released in Scandinavian areas and it's a really cool platformer. And then there's some common, uncommon games that I did have but sold already because I only collect the good games or the rare games. There's Corvette ZR1 Challenge, Crackout, Drop Zone, Kickoff, Konami Hyper Soccer and 4 Player Tennis. And those last five are definitely really easy to pick up, expect to pay 7.5 to 10 euros but um, they were not interesting for my collection. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to check out the channel and feel free to comment if you have any questions about the games or if I missed something. I did some research on this but I'm not super, uh, I'm not uh, all knowing so maybe I missed one game. So thanks for watching and bye bye.